what's up with your copper grids out there? Mike from Comic Frontline here, and welcome to my comic review of the Marvel comic book Inferno, issue number three. And in this issue, we uh, get lots of uh, major stuff that happens uh, in this issue. And uh, from what we saw in the last issue, uh, Nightcrawler is now a uh, dragon, thanks to. Uh, Colossus' sister, Aliena, who uh, is uh, still going through that uh, whole phase of uh, that, along with uh, Maddie, who is uh, trying to get to Colossus a little bit, but Domino's trying to, uh, you know, sell him down and uh, say, you know, uh, we have, you know, uh, we have to trust her a little bit of uh, what's going on and... Uh, we just got to uh, roll with uh, what's there and um, get some artwork right here, which is drawn uh, really uh, beautifully, actually. And uh, we get um, Colossus just saying, you know, we have to join this fight and we have to leave, but um, they said that they can't because of, uh, you know, Lots of stuff that's going on with uh, Nightcrawler and uh, more stuff. If you want to find out more, definitely uh, read the book to find out because I don't want to give uh, too much away. But let's just say that uh, Maddie is uh, really um, trying to uh, make some plans and stuff along with um, Scott Summers um, who is uh, fighting with... Um, Jean Grey, and uh, stuff doesn't happen so well with uh, the uh, captain, and we have more teams of Cyclops' uh, reinforcements that come in to stop all this uh, stuff that's happening, and they're trying to find out where Aliana is, I'm hoping I'm saying her name right, and uh, she's just uh, causing more uh, destruction with uh, Doctor Strange in this uh, comic book and um, you know Colossus is just you know like almost uh, losing it and Domino's like saying you know like trying to calm him down like saying you know we're in hell and uh, you know we just gotta ease up a little and uh, right there and then she uh, helps him out but as that happens uh, the more people come in and um, that can't be good also with uh, Scott Summers that tells uh, Aliana um, what she's done and in the end of this issue get ready for this spoiler we get a uh, character appearance of Mr. Sinister and uh, he's got some uh, experiments that uh, he has and that's to be continued next time assist the plot revealed so um, you know there is a bunch of stuff that's going on with the whole war and with Colossus still having the soul sword to use uh, to get uh, Ileana back to her regular self rain for this guys I would give a four out of five star rating uh, beautiful artwork and a great story uh, for those of you who haven't been reading Inferno you should, you should definitely pick this up along with issues one and two because um, you know Colossus is just had as wits end and he wants to get uh, his sister back and everything and with Maddie being a little bit of you know mm -hmm, with trust or not trusting you know she's the only way of getting his sister back so along with Domino's help as well. So, really great stuff. Definitely check out this book at a comic store near you. And with that, everybody, that's my comic review of Inferno, issue number three for Marvel. And before I go, don't forget to check out Comic Frontline and Frontline Gaming Zone. Together, we are number one source for comic and game-related news reviews and a whole bunch more. Don't forget to subscribe to Comic Frontline today if you haven't yet. And comment below if you have been reading the Inferno Things you like, things you didn't like, or anything you want to say in the comments, please leave your comments because I love hearing comments from you guys. 
And as always, I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. So to all you comic book readers out there, until next time, I'm Mike from Comic Frontline saying take care and keep watching. Later, everyone.